Hey guys, my name is Saif Singh. I'm a tech enthusiast and a creator. And today I'll be talking and showing you some features of Mac OS Developer Beta launched by Apple on their yearly event WWDC on 22nd June. So let's get started. Starting off from the new charging animation. So when you plug in your MagSafe charger into your MacBook, now you see a new animation, which is just as same on your iPhone or on your iPad. So it just seems like you're using a 13 inch or 15 inch iPhone-ish kind of device. Uh, which I think is good because previously you didn't have any indication that your uh, Mac is charging or something like that when you were char uh, plugging your Mac uh, charger and uh, not just that they have played around with animation and UI throughout the operating system they have uh, played with the uh, notification center how it used to look previously it is just as it is there on the iPhone on iOS 40 and even the notification sound and the uh, the gestures of you know, even the UI elements are just as same as there are on iPhone. Even uh, switching to control center, now you can see the control center view is also same as uh, iPhone. When you toggle your control center, the UI is just as same as that of an iPhone. They have also changed the UI designs of all the icons. They have changed the shape and they have given this little little gradient, if you can see, or shadow effect in each and every icon, and they will be updating their stock applications like Logic X and Final Cut Pro's icon as well in coming near future. Since this is a very early developer beta update, it is a little buggy, but right now I haven't found any of as such bug in my daily usage. Since this is my daily driver MacBook, as you can see, this is my MacBook Pro 2014 15 inch, and uh, it's working pretty fine in this. And uh, uh, They've also changed icons in the system preferences. As you can see, uh, they've changed this uh, they this new look to the sound icon, the network icon, battery. Moving to battery, there is new battery icon in battery preferences. If you see, there's this large battery which has this glowing effect in it and it shows you the level battery usage and history. And on the login screen, now you can see the image is a little large of the user and there is this new style to the password input uh, option. Moving on to Finder, they have re redesigned the structure of Finder, giving it more cleaner look with the icons. It is more of an experience change when you use it on your daily, uh, daily driver device. And this theme is being used across the application in their stock applications like Music App or Notes. Everywhere the specific theme is used on the left hand side panel and uh, that's how it goes. It's a new clean look and uh, there are these icons up on top in Finder which are more convenient now to switch the view of your Finder. You get this new sound effect when you take a new screenshot, the sound over there is changed. Also, IMSS has got a huge update this year uh, with the developer beta on macOS. As you can see, you get all the options on IMSS that you used to get on your iPhone, the Memoji effect, uh, sorry, the Memoji sticker, uh, the iMessage effect that you used to get, and uh, photos. Now also you can select GIFs. You can search GIFs and you can share it. and. Uh, you can basically drag a message and pin it and you can also unpin a message as well. You can do the same on iOS as well. And uh, uh, that's up with iMessage. Safari now have some new updates in the terms of how it looks and in terms of security as Apple has promised their security this year. They have increased and showing you a tracking report that which sites are trying to profile you and they also prevent, Safari also prevent uh, trackers from profiling you. So they show you a privacy report on your Safari home screen. When you open Safari, there is a privacy report. It gives you a number and it gives you in last seven days, Safari has prevented so many trackers from profiling you. Uh, you also get to customize your Safari look. You click on this configuration button and you can uh, basically s uh, select what all options you want to see on your home screen. And you can also add a background image now. You can drag and drop your preferred image to set it as your default home screen image on Safari. And to know on active site, which sites are tracking you, you can click on this icon beside the search bar on a website and it will basically show you a report that how many trackers are trying to uh, 
uh, track or profile you on this particular website. Also, the widgets option you get to see over here is uh, you can edit the widget as you used to. Now you get a new UI look over here and you can browse through different uh, widgets and you can select the different size which are available and you can simply drag and drop. Now you do not get to set a smart widget because I don't think that's of any use on macOS and uh, uh, other than that you get to uh, select any other stock application widget on the macOS. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it about the widgets on macOS. Uh, as I can slightly see, they are getting rid of the, their blur effect slowly throughout the system as they are getting new updates this year and uh, I, I realized this particular effect or this particular thing that, that they are trying to get rid of their caution blur that they have been using since ages. Uh, when I saw the new Notes app, uh, as you can see in the new Notes app, uh, there was this texture of page that Apple used to have since generations in their old notes app even in the recent app now there is no texture of a particular note if you see it's pure clean it's as digital as it can be and uh, yeah there is no that there's no such effect and it's of course it's much more cleaner and much more pure and gets a very smooth look to the notes app and uh, uh, that's where I uh, so by getting rid of this effect and also on the side panel if you see uh, if you select a topic on a particular note and even if you switch to the view uh, you get to see that uh, there are very less areas where the blurs are used and even if it's used the opacity or the usage of that particular effect is very very less and I feel they are getting rid of that effect even on iPhone when I'll be launching or dropping a video about that I'll be uh, showing you some areas where they've got rid of the blur effect in iOS. Uh, as for Apple, as they mentioned in their keynote, uh, the iWork group applications are supposed to get a new changes in them and uh, maybe in future developer beta and even in the stable one you might see some changes in the iWork group of applications. Um, uh, personally, I don't think a lot of people use that, maybe keynote or pages, but the numbers if they could really work on the numbers app, it would be very great because uh, it's uh, it has been not been that very useful in the previous versions and even in this one as well uh, for now. Also, as Apple mentioned that they have not stopped innovating, but as you can see throughout the operating system, the design architecture of the whole uh, OS is as same as it used to be throughout, uh, you know, the whole history of Apple of Mac OS and this one they have played with the UI and little interaction in user experience which when you use it as a daily travel you'll get to see that but other than that I don't see any changes in uh, the uh, but other than that I don't see any other changes in the uh, UI or uh, the design architect but other than that it looks very clean it looks very iPhone-ish iPad-ish and uh, uh, maybe I think it's because they will be bringing their ARM, uh, uh, ARM design, their own hardware design MacBooks or their systems and for which they will be having combined uh, application throughout their different platforms like iPhone, iWatch and Apple TV and of course on macOS. So keeping that in uh, uh, thoughts, I think they have been playing and combining the UI of all their devices and the ecosystem the same. So that's up from me guys, a rough overview of enhancement and feature in the new iOS and uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.